In this equation, we have sodium hydroxide plus iron to bromide. This is a double displacement reaction. The Fe and the Na, they're going to switch places. And when we do double displacement reactions, when they have this polyatomic ion, this hydroxide group right here, we can use a little bit of a trick. So let's count the atoms up, and then we'll balance the equation. We have one sodium. I have this hydroxide, this OH here, and I have it again here. So I'm just going to count that as one item. I have one hydroxide ion right there, one iron and then the two bromides. On the product side, I have one sodium, one hydroxide times two. So I have two of those, one iron, and then one bromine. This makes it a lot neater. Now I can see right away that if I double my bromines, if I put a two in front of the NABR, that means one times two, that'll give me two bromines. Those are balanced. And then the sodium, one times two, that gives me two sodiums. Okay, why don't we balance the sodiums next? We'll put a 2 in front of the sodium hydroxide, the NaOH. 1 times 2, that'll give us 2 sodiums. And then 1 hydroxide times 2, that gives us 2 hydroxides, and we're done. This equation is balanced. So you can see it makes it a bit easier if we count the hydroxide, the OH, is one thing, since it appears on both sides of the equation. On many double displacement reactions, this will make it a lot easier. Here it helped just a little bit. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for NaOH plus FeBr2. Thanks for watching.